Once again, a fabulous question, beautiful question. Let's discuss the scope step by step. 2 less than or equal to x minus 1 into y plus 3 less than or equal to 5. x and y are negative integers. Find the number of possible combinations of x and y. Negative integers. So this is an integer. This is an integer. Product of two integers to give us an integer. Right? So to start with, the product could be 2, 3, 4 or 5. 2 can be obtained as 1 into 2, 2 into 1. 3 could be 1 into 3, 3 into 1. 4 could be 1 into 4, 4 into 1, 2 into 2. 5 could be 1 into 5, 5 into 1. And so let's think about this. Modulus of x minus 1 into modulus of y plus 3. Modulus of x minus 1 could be 1. That means x minus 1 could be 1 or minus 1. So x has to be either 2 or 0. And so x could be 2 or 0. Neither is a negative integer. So modulus of x minus 1 cannot be 1. Right? It simply cannot be 1. So because then x minus 1 would have to be either 1 or minus 1 x is told we are told that x is a negative integer so this doesn't work not only this this doesn't work this doesn't work this doesn't work straight away x minus 1 modulus of x minus 1 cannot be 1 so let's move to this modulus of x minus 1 equal to 2 so x minus 1 is either 2 or minus 2 so x is 3 or minus 1 so we cannot be 3 but x can be minus 1 and so now let's go to y plus 3 modulus of y plus 3 equal to 1 so y can be minus 2 or minus 4 two possibilities minus 2 plus 3 is 1 M minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1 modulus is 1 so for this 2 into 1 we have not just 1 but two possibilities so we could have minus 1 comma minus 2 minus 1 comma minus 4 let's move to this one modulus of x minus 1 equal to 3 x could be 4 that's not possible or x is minus 2 modulus of y plus 3 there are two possibilities we know that already minus 2 and minus 4 so once again for this there are two possibilities fine so we could have a scenario where it is minus 2 comma minus 2 minus 2 comma minus 4 okay. 4 into 1 modulus of x minus 1 is 4 x could be 5 or x is minus 3 for this there are two possibilities once again we have two outcomes here so minus 3 comma minus 2 minus 3 comma minus 4 2 into 2 modulus of x minus 1 is 2 x is either 3 or it is minus 1 so x will be minus 1 that works well modulus of y plus 3 equal to 2 so y is either minus 1 or minus 5 minus 5 plus 3 minus 1 plus 3 so x could be minus 1 comma minus 1 or minus 1 comma minus 5 once again we have two possibilities here Finally, 5 into 1, modulus of x minus 1 equals 5. x could be 6 or it could be minus 4. Minus 4 works. For 1, there are two possibilities. We know that. So, minus 4, comma, minus 2, minus 4, comma, minus 4. Or we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 10 possibilities here. Key thing here to remember that we are dealing with negative integers so each of this is a positive integer positive integer so the product could be 2 3 4 or 5 two numbers multiplying to give 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 write down all possibilities modulus of x minus 1 cannot be 1 that eliminates 4 of the 9 possibilities that we have the remaining each one there are two possibilities because we're dealing with modulus fine and then we 
figure out each of those bits and then get to the answer. But wonderful question, time consuming, but if you do it rigorously, slowly, methodically, you can get the answer.